Good morning, my name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations here at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. Today is Friday, October 19th, 2018. I'm at our north site in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, and today I'm going to talk about um, some video conferencing equipment that's located in Conference Room 3. Let's take a look. So, as we walk into the room, uh, there's a, uh, enough seating for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. There's enough seating for 20. Um, we have a projector in the ceiling. Uh, next to the projector uh, is a speaker. Um, so that round thing with that little green light that you might be able to see there, that is a speaker. Um, there is wireless in the room. Uh, that item uh, towards the wall on the ceiling is a wireless access point. Next to the podium up on the wall, um, you'll see uh, another device and that's a camera. Uh, so if we're having a uh, meeting in this room, uh, you'll be able to use that camera to uh, see everyone in here and project that image to um, a remote site. Also on the uh, tables up here, uh, this uh, item right here that says Logitech on the front, uh, that's part of the camera system. That is both a speaker and a microphone, and that's what I'm going to uh, show you how to operate today along with that camera. Um, and this last item over here is just a traditional speakerphone to uh, make and receive calls. So today we're solely going to focus on how to use the Logitech video conference system that's located in this room. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we gather all the necessary items that we need in order to successfully use this. So the first thing you need, of course, is a laptop. Um, next to that, we have the um, speaker and microphone combo unit there. And there's two other cables. Um, one cable is a USB cable. That's going to hook up the microphone, speaker, and camera all to your system with one cable. And the other cable here is an HDMI cable. Uh, and that is to hook your laptop up to the projector. The first step is to hook up that USB cable. Now you'll see an, a new little adapter here um, that wasn't there a moment ago. Uh, that's a dongle for my computer. Uh, my computer, um, wow, and I need to clean my screen. Um, my, uh, my computer does not have any uh, traditional USB ports on it. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, um, I need to use this dongle. Uh, you will not need that dongle if you have USB ports on your computer uh, already. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So as soon as we plug this USB cable in, two things are gonna happen. The microphone and speaker is gonna make a sound and turn blue for a second. And the camera that's up there should wake up. Let's give it a shot, okay. There, that's good turning blue, and that camera just moved and uh, is now pointing up. Uh, the speaker and microphone also just made a sound. In the top right-hand corner, you have a uh, USB uh, that is telling you that the speaker and microphone is now hooked up. Now that our USB cable is plugged in, we need to tell our computer which camera, which microphone, and which speaker to use. In order to do that, Let's either start a new uh, video conference or join one that's been set up previously. In this case, we'll click start with video. We get a little pop up here and it's asking how you want to join uh, the audio portion of this call, either by phone call or computer audio. And you'll see this little indent here of a triangle pointing to computer audio. Uh, so that is fine. So we keep it on computer audio and we can click join with computer audio. After that, uh, a little message just popped up saying you are using computer audio, uh, which went away relatively quickly, just confirming your choice. Now that the speaker, microphone, and camera are hooked up to our computer, we need to tell our computer to use each of those individual things. Otherwise, it's going to use the webcam, the camera I'm using right now, to speak to you, along with the built-in microphone and the built-in speakers. And while that might be all right for an individual meeting, if I was just having a video conference between me and someone else on a remote side, if I was going to fill this room, that's probably really not going to work. So let me show you how you change each of those items. When you click inside your Zoom window, uh, you'll see a picture of a microphone and you see that green going up and down. That's me speaking. Uh, and we have the stop video button. So if I click on stop video, uh, you don't see me anymore. You still hear me. But let's go ahead and start that video back up. So there's arrows next to both of those items. Those arrows give you the option to change the input source for each of those. So let's go ahead and click on the arrow next to the microphone. And at the top here, you see it says select a microphone. So right now it says that it's my MacBook. 
Um, but if I wanted to, I could switch to this item right here. It says Logi Group Speakerphone. Now, depending on what you're hooking up, it might say something slightly different. In this particular case, I'm using a Logitech branded uh, speakerphone. So that is the correct item. So let's go ahead and click on that. And now my computer is configured to use the Logitech as the microphone during a presentation. The next thing we need to do is switch the speaker. Again, if we click on that arrow next to the microphone, we'll go to the section that says select a speaker. Right now you see that it says my MacBook is hooked up, uh, but let's go ahead and select the Logi Group speakerphone. There we go. So now we have that selected. So now again, during a Zoom conference, it'll use both the microphone and the speaker inside of that uh, one unit over there. Now the last thing we need to do is switch to the camera. So in a similar fashion, let's click the arrow next to the picture of the camera. And we see it says the FaceTime HD camera uh, that is currently selected. That's the camera that's built into my laptop. And again, you'll see another entry for another camera. It says Logi Group Camera 3. Let's go ahead and click on that. And uh, now you'll see that there is no picture. Uh, and the reason for that is there's one final step that we need to perform. Okay, I'm going to switch you over to my uh, phone for a second so I can show you what's going on. So my screen is black. Uh, we did select that camera. So the problem, if we go over here, so we can see the camera's awake. It's no longer pointing down, right? But it has a cap on it, like a lens cap. So let's go ahead and pull that off. Uh, now we can see the camera. And if we go back over here, we can see that it's now using the camera that's mounted on the wall. All right, so now we're back on my computer and you can see that it's not using the camera that's on my laptop. Uh, you can see that it's using the camera that's up on the wall. And all you can see though now is the uh, top of my head and my uh, gray hair there that my children remind me of every day. Um, so we need to uh, move that camera and adjust it to uh, where we want it to point. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So that is done with a remote control. So I'm going to go switch back to the camera on my phone so I can show you how to do that. Okay. If we go around the podium over here, there's two remotes. The uh, remote for the camera is the uh, little one. Okay. Uh, so you see there's a uh, green call button, a uh, red hang up button. Uh, that's to mute. Um, but we're going to use the uh, up, down, left, right. So let's see if we can get the camera uh, and the remote in the picture at the same time, maybe. Uh, it's a little dark, sorry. But so if we want to uh, move the camera over to the right, I'm holding the right button and you can see that that camera is moving to the right. If we uh, want to go back to the left, we could do that. If we want to go down a little bit, we can do that. And if we uh, take a look at my laptop, now uh, you can see that the camera on the wall is pointing at me uh, in the room much better. Maybe I want to go over to the right a little bit. I could hit the right button and get a uh, better angle of that room. Hit down. There we go. So now my computer and the uh, Zoom conference are using the camera that's up on the wall. If I wanted to switch back to my computer, I could do so uh, very easily. So back on my computer here, I can click on the arrow next to the video cam. And I can see that the Logitech or the Logi Group camera number three is currently selected. If I wanted to switch back, I can uh, simply click on that and that'll switch to uh, the camera that's on my computer. And I could go back, back and forth as much as I want. And the same uh, for the audio. Um, probably not as likely uh, to switch that audio back and forth, but you could. Um, so for the microphone, um, right now it's on the group speakerphone. If I wanted to go to my computer, I could do so. And the same thing with the speaker. And if we wanted to change the audio inputs or outputs for any reason, uh, we could do so as well. Just click that arrow next to the microphone. Under microphone, we could select either the speakerphone or the built-in one into my uh, computer. And the same as for the speaker. I could select the uh, group speakerphone or the speakers that are built into my computer. The last thing I'll show you is how to hook up to the projector and use the speaker that's tied into the projector. In order to do that, we have to plug the HDMI cable into our laptop. 
I'll switch to the camera on my phone really quick so I can show you how that's done. So in order to hook our computer up to the projector, we need to grab that HDMI cable uh, that we had before, and it's the one that looks like that, okay, and plug that into our computer. And now, um, remember my particular computer doesn't have a onboard HDMI um, port, uh, which is why I use this dongle here. Uh, you might have a dongle yourself, or you're, you might not if your computer has a place to uh, put the HDMI cord. Um, so I'm going to uh, plug this in, and I'm going to try to do it. Bear with me uh, as I'm holding my camera. So I'm going to get it in there. And as soon as I put it in there all the way, uh, we you might be able to hear a beep. I'm not sure if you'll hear it uh, on uh, video or not, uh, but it's going to beep, and it's going to start to power on by itself. So you don't even have to turn the projector on. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and plug that in all the way. Okay, we did hear that... Uh, projector beep, and then momentarily uh, the image will come up on the screen. And now we can move the Zoom application or any application we want uh, over to that screen. And so you can think of it uh, as just that screen or that monitor being to the right of your uh, laptop. So in order to get something over to that screen, uh, you can simply click, drag, and move it over to the right. So if we click on this and hold and start dragging. Uh, you'll see it start starting to come over there. And uh, now you can see that that's up on the screen for everyone to see. So if you had a room full of people here, uh, they would be able to see whoever is on the other side of this conference. And the very last thing I want to show you is how to now, uh, now that we plug the projector in, uh, we can opt to use the speaker that's in the ceiling. Uh, the speaker that's in the ceiling is a little bit more powerful than the one that's in the Logitech speakerphone. So if you have a large group, uh, it might be better to use the speaker that's uh, next to the projector in the ceiling. So uh, how we do that, we click on that arrow uh, next to the microphone. That's where all of our audio controls are. Um, so for microphone, you see that the same two options are there, uh, the MacBook, the built-in microphone, as well as the speakerphone microphone. But now for speaker, we have three options. Um, we can see MacBook Pro, those are my internal speakers, the Logi Group speakerphone, uh, that's the speakerphone we were working on before, and it says DisplayPort, Epson PG, uh, standing for projector. Uh, so if you click on uh, the DisplayPort, Epson PG, now any sound uh, would come out of the ceiling. In order to adjust that volume, we'll grab the remote control that is also in the podium. So we have our remote control here. Uh, right in the middle of that remote, we have uh, volume up and down. And if you hit that up or down button, uh, you'll see that we can uh, raise the volume up uh, or put the volume back down. I hope you found this tip valuable uh, in using Zoom uh, with various microphones, cameras, and speakers. Sorry for the length of the video. There's just lots of uh, different variables and settings that I wanted to make sure that you all were able to understand. If you're an Intermediate Unit 20 employee and have any questions, don't hesitate to put a help desk ticket in and we'll gladly help you. Anyone else that might have a question, certainly put it in the comments below. I hope you found this tip valuable, and I'll see you again next time. Have a great day.